Yeah. Alright. Ford versus Napkins. Honestly, Ford... Honorary Papa Squat. So... Just for lack of commentary. Um. Okay, Fountain game one. Even here, Ganon Peach. Not actually a terrible matchup for Ganon as far as Ganon matchups go. Um, Fountain of Dreams is an interesting starting place. Napkins really loves to just get on these platforms and down smash. And he's got some pretty good turn up coverage right now, keeping Ganon in the box. Ganon is not able to do his usual shit of fade back there against Napkins right now. Grab ledge, down smash. There? Yep, awesome. Just closing it out. Never mind. Big Stompy. Lost what? You lost. Yeah, how'd you lose it? Oh man. <laughs> Soy, Soy sauce. sauce. Hey, uh, did you use the universal seating for this one? Uh, do you have a ability to change that? Oh yeah, my name is spelled wrong on it. It might have been an old soy sauce, to be honest. Something like that. But it also might not be. Um, but I think you're seated a little low, to be honest. Same. Well, I mean, okay, I think a lot of people are seated low, including your boy. But uh, it's fine. I lose the shitters. I mean, I just play Ash round one, which is annoying. Uh, yeah, that's because you're seated super low. <laughs> yeah. All right, so foreign money for Snapkins. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been doing a shitty job of commentating this whole game. They don't expect much. Peach versus Ganon, they're both kind of similar characters. They just have giant hitboxes yeah, that you run into. Out and yeah. So I don't I know. I was just saying this isn't a terrible matchup for Ganon, though. No, it's not. Like, out of all of his top tier matchups, this one's definitely okay. Not quite as good as Icy's. Wow. He needs to be at, he's pretty decent. It's uh, S O Y S A U S. I, I'll I'll, uh, I'll make a. Don't worry about it. I'll make a list of things Steven needs to change because I also need to be moved up. You dig? I hope Steven's listening. Uh, that was Ford. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Well, also I was inactive for a really long time. Okay, so. Uh, FD, uh, interesting one 
for a Peach counter pick. Uh, doesn't want Ganon to have the platforms. Ganon uses platforms like a motherfucker because his best mode of transportation is wave landing. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's so much faster than anything else he has. And like, what is Ganon really gonna threaten Float with? Like instant uh, up air? Barely, in yeah, instant up air. Uh, wave land back, like, jab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, even that. Um, yeah, I feel like he can just, like, he doesn't have the mobility to just run away from float. Like, he's just no. going to get floated into the corner. Yeah. He can't, like, dash under it with him. Okay, that up air. Oh, all okay. right. Ford, good on Ford knowing that, like, the height wasn't right and not just giving up ledge like a dumb little baby. Yeah. Tries to down smash the down smash queen. I'm not really sure. Ooh, that's a big stitcher. Oh. That's a big stitcher. That's a stitch and a half, I tell you what. Oh. I don't know if Ford throw was yeah, the option. Yeah, gets rid of it. Shouldn't down throw always be the option? Uh, yeah. I... <laughs> Ganon also has, like, not a lot of large options. Yeah. But neither does Peach. No. They're the same character, dude. Just one of them has a float. Uh, one of them has a float and big arms. And a cape. And a bunch of useless moves, including Nair. Is Nair useless? Ganon's Nair is absolute dog shit. Really? Yeah, Ganon's Nair is so bad. Compared to Falcon's Nair especially, but like, it's just a bad move. Well, Falcon's Nair it's is so like slow, it's better. so punishable. Yeah. It doesn't have much knockback. <laughs> it's like, if you hit them with Nair, great, but if you're going to hit them with such a telegraph move, you probably could have hit them with almost anything else. Yeah. All of his aerials are like, Lots of rolls. slow. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't have any, like, shuffle approaches that, like, are safe on shield? Uh, no. Maybe really spaced, like, up air? No, probably not. Unlike Peach, where every aerial she does is safe well, on shield. Well, also, but if you punch a lot of the characters, like, they can't... It sends them too far away, like Luigi and Ice Climbers and shit. Uh -huh, that's why he's so back. good against them. That makes sense. So that's pretty decent on shield. But a bad character. A low percent, is his up air not safe on hit? Like, if she's in the air, uh, can she just nair out after the first up air? Because it looked like that's what happened. I... Now. Maybe it was some tricky DI? I'm not honestly sure. It's not a matchup I have that much familiarity yeah. with. To be perfectly honest. They both suck when they're on the ledge. Neither of them have ledge right. options. Oh! I will say Ganon is probably one of the few characters that can actually kill Peach. Yeah. Because Peach can live forever. You see, like, Marth versus Peach, and Peach is living to 200 every stock. Right. If they're smart enough to stay away from getting dunked, yeah. I think reverse up air goes farther than back air. So there's some of the situations where he's, like, trying to... But also, like, reverse up air isn't going to get as much reward as back air. And I might just be flat out wrong that reverse up air goes this, goes farther than back air, but... It hits at a more convenient high angle to win under them. So you coming out to the bar after this? I don't know. This chick is trying to... Dude, honestly... Okay. I don't know who watches these. She does got, not. I've definitely got... No, I know. Yours probably doesn't. I've definitely got in trouble for saying some things on here before, but there will always be that. Remember that. It's true. There will always be... 20? Hey, I'm Gridlock. Could you just hold my hand and wipe my little ass? Hey, could you just do everything for me? <laughs> I'm just trashing you, dude. Sorry. Also, I'm hella broke right now. Dude, that's fine. I'm moving into the park. We're going to pre-game the parking lot. We'll get like a beer and sit with it for a hell of a long time. Yeah. And get more drunk in the parking lot. And then they'll okay. be like, oh, these guys are buying beers. But only Kaylee, the cool-ass bartender who's not going to care, is knowing that we have to be getting drunk through another method because we're not going to be buying a lot of beers. I'm going to buy one Guinness and sit on it. A Guinness? Dude, I like... I like, Guinness, I like No, I'm with you. I was going to say, I like that you don't drink Lagunitas or IPA like all the other Melee players. I just drank Lagunitas, and it honestly tasted like shit. I, I want to tell I, Caleb because okay, he bought it for me. It's not too bad, but it's not my favorite. I'll take a Guinness any day over... And, yeah. I still chug it, though. Any porter. Uh, Pit Lifter's fucking amazing. 
red ale. Just IPAs are they're okay. I don't know a lot about beer. I can I, mean, I drank it. I drank the whole thing. Well, yeah, but like it's a skunk beer, and like I don't know, it's, it's super high percent. But it's like I'll just drink wine if I'm trying to. Yeah. I'm also still kind of wine hungover from last night, but we go hard. Dude, wine drunk is a different kind of drunk, and I love it. Yeah, it's very romantic. Yeah, I was thinking Super the same romantic. shit. But yeah, it's just like you're very like eloquent and flowy as opposed yeah, to just like flowy, dude. It, yeah, you know, you're not going to the bar and fucking banging your head to your friend <laughs> singing a Fallout Boy song <laughs> when you're drinking wine. Oh, dude. That's that's that tequila shit. Tequila's a lot for me. I mean, I love it. But. Yeah. I like shot drinks. I like taking shots. Hey, don't bring alcohol here. Stop doing it. I've never done it. Me neither. Me neither. So all of Peach's aerials are super fast, and I think that's like the big difference. Because if they're just in the air, Ganon just can't threaten that. Yep. The fast thing he has is up air. I, I always feel like I'm looking at the screen and... Ford's getting bodied, and then uh, when it's time for who won the game, uh, Ford won the game. That's an interesting point. Like, it, it, he's turning it around somehow, like at the latter half of every match. If you watch it back, I'm sure of this. I don't think he started with a strong lead, like, at really any point. You should be able to down throw Nair Ganon, right? Like, you don't have to forward throw at that percent. Uh, you should be able to down throw something. Huh? Yeah. Big hugs. Big hugs for the big boy. It's a hard hug to avoid when you have yes. don't have giant hitboxes. Yes. Marth can avoid it. Marth can avoid it. Fox Spacey's has a avoid really it. hard time avoiding it, though. You think so? No. Not back air, like, back scoops air? under him, you know? Yeah. Okay, I just suck. <laughs> I mean, it's hard. I'm not going to. Yeah, it's hard. Especially because he did it weird. He did it, like, instantly. Like, he definitely thought. Napkins see, definitely thought for See that was. Nair? Ford tried to nair there for some reason. It's just, just such a bad move. <laughs> it's yeah. just such a bad move. Oh, see, okay, so you see, that's the upper I was talking about. Yep, yep. Is that reverse up airs to, to that's, threaten flow? That's called something. I feel like Tipman, or is that when you're the, on the ledge? I don't know. I just call it the wheel. The wheel. Oh yeah, Ganon's all Ganon's tilt moves are pretty, besides up tilt are pretty good. So both. <laughs> yeah, both <laughs> of his tilt moves. Yeah, but he's not going to be... He's not a down holder, dude. He's not going to hold down against napkins. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Wow. He's going to try to wave dash If you run up and get raw grab by Ganon, you, you fell wrong. All right. There it is. A 3-0. 3-0 for a little bit money. surprised. That was really close.